This is Alice's Garden Advice. A local farmer once told me to plant my peas on St. Patrick's Day. So today we're going to talk about planting peas. Well, you don't have to plant them exactly on St. Patrick's Day. Around St. Patrick's Day is a good guideline. Today we're going to be planting one of my favorite and my brother's favorites, Mr. Big Pea. First thing you want to do is turn over the earth, get it nice and loose. Give it more fertilizer. This is what's called leaf mold, and it's really just the bottom of the leaf pile from last fall that my brother and my mother did. So if you stack them up in the fall, come spring, turn the, turn the pile over, and there's your compost for your garden. Okay, so you just turn that in. Then we're gonna flatten out the soil with a rake. Get it nice and level. we have to make a trench. I use this tool. It's a, pretty much just a pointy hoe. And the Mr. Big Pea call for a one inch trench. That looks about like an inch. And you take your peas in your hand. Space them according to the package. Don't worry about being perfect. Some people want a perfectly straight row. I'm all right. And cover them up. Just fold it in. Nothing fancy. And then I like to pat it down. Now you just water and wait. But when they start to grow, they're gonna need something to climb on. You can make a homemade wooden structure like this out of sticks and put on a trellis netting, which is what we're gonna do. Or you can make a teepee out of twirly metal spikes, sticks you found in the yard, anything that the peas tendrils can cling onto and grow up. Here I've put my trellis up. I just used a staple gun and stapled it to the wood. The peas are planted about two or three inches from the netting. In about oh, a week or two, the peas will start to come up. After the seedling leaves, they'll have little tendrils that'll grab onto the netting and grow up. They may need a little guidance when they're young, so don't be afraid to take the tendrils and wrap them around the string. I just have a stick and a magic marker for my labels. Our tall telephone pole and Cascadia. So that's how you grow peas. You can cook them traditionally, toss them on top of a salad, or eat them right off the vine. This has been Alice's Gardening Advice. Happy growing.